Hey everybody, it's Fresco Kino. So I hope you've been having fun working with Excel and all that data. The trick about data is you've got to be able to communicate that data with charts and graphs and, you know, make it as legible and as understandable as possible. And I know that's what you're learning, but you really got to tell a story too with that data. Now let me tell you a little story about my friends, Dick and Jane. Dick got a job at a car company. He was working as an analyst and there was a whole bunch of places where they sold cars and car models and numbers of cars that were sold and profits and everything. So the investors said, you know, hey, Dick, we really want to see how we're doing in Germany. So can you decipher the data? And he tried to sort through it. And there was just so much data. And they wanted to see Germany and France and how different cars were selling. And Dick was just overwhelmed. So he went home that night and he talked to Jane. Jane set him straight. Jane told him, you know what you got to do? You got to create an Excel dashboard. And it looks something like this. So the next day, Dick went back to work and he told the investors, hey, you want to see how we're doing in Canada? Just click the Canada button. You want to see how we're doing in Germany? Just click the Germany button. You want to see the Paseo model and how it's selling? Oh, you want to see the Paseo against the Montana? You can see that too. You want to see the Paseo and the Montana against Germany and Mexico? Sure, we can do that. You want to look at a certain time frame? Go for it. Um, you can even add new data to this and keep calculating a running tab and these pivot charts will constantly update. Well, you know what happened? Dick got a huge raise. He went home, he told Jane and he took her out to dinner. So let me show you the basics here of what Jane actually did. So Dick came home with the spreadsheet and they opened it up on their computer and uh, you know, he showed her the big mess that was there. So Jane enabled the editing and it, essentially what you want to do here is you want to distill this down by using some pivot tables and pivot charts and then connecting those pivot charts together and putting them all on a dashboard where you can control everything from there. So let's take a look. We've got two tabs here. One is data. The other one is new data. So we're going to actually just look at the basic data first and